Good morning, everybody. We're now in our second week after Easter, and we find that more and more now in, the, in these weeks before Pentecost, we, we find more references to the Holy Spirit. T today in the Gospel, we, we, we saw what the impact of, was on the on the apostles on the disciples you know related really. they were frightened underst uh, understandably uh, after after especially after jesus had left them ascended to heaven and uh, they must have been very scared really and then the holy spirit descended upon them and then gone was all the fear you know, and the trepidation you know they went out as the as the reading says, they spoke with boldness. They were afraid of nobody. Really. Jesus said they would be, they would suffer as he had, but that didn't hold them back. And also in the, in the readings today, we have the lovely example of the, of the dear old man Nicodemus, member of the Pharisees. You know, really, Pharisees were were good people. Really, they were just misguided badly about Jesus really nicodemus saw something in jesus that attracted him you know and he wanted really to know more about him you know he what he what what was going on in his mind really was what the psalmist called my soul is thirsting for the living god he was thirsting for the truth uh, and uh, he in this beautiful act of humility and sincerity, you know, he comes to Jesus, comes at night time. Because if he came during the day, he'd be thrown out of the, of the, Pharise, of the, Pharise, the Pharisees' party, and really, you know. So he came at night, you know. In the world, there must be millions who are like him, you know, who are, particularly at this time with its terrible crisis, people who are looking for, uh, for, for, for God, you know, and uh, we, by our example and by our prayers, must remember these good people, you know, and, and lead them gradually to Christ, you know, who loves them, help them to realize that, that they are loved, every single one of them, that he he's waiting to wel welcome them and embrace them uh, if they come to him, you know, who will treat them so gently, you know. So let our hearts be filled with gratitude for our own faith, for the community of faith of which we are a part. And let us pray for those who are suffering from COVID-19 and pray for the billions of people who have never yet heard of Christ or of the gospel. Bless you all. Bless you for all your prayers and for all the good things you are doing trying to help others. May the good Lord bless you and fill you with peace.